In this video we will have a look at how you can use the editing features of Photomate to improve both images from your phone as well as images from any camera. So first we will start with a typical phone capture. When you open the application, navigate to the directory where you can find your images. So I choose the image from the phone. This one was taken with the Galaxy S3. And as you can see, the image has a blue cast. To adjust this, I choose Edit XMP on the top right. On some other devices, you may have to press the menu button first to see this option. As you can see, there are several sliders on the right now. So first I adjust the white balance a little bit to remove the blue cast. Ok, after that I use the tint option to adjust the green colors a little bit. Here I've got some other options like brightness or exposure. For example, I can make this a little bit darker and I can also adjust the contrast as well as the saturation to make the image grayscale or intensify the colors. Another great feature is the clarity. If I shift the slider to the right, you can see that the edges are getting sharper. And I can also shift it to the left to make the image look blurrier. Ok, I think this value looks good. Now I can save this XMP file. That means all the settings are getting stored in an XMP site file so you can undo all the settings without affecting the original images. Some of these settings can also be read from other software like Adobe Bridge. You can now save this image as a new JPEG. Photomate renders all the settings into a new image. On modern devices like the Asus Prime or the Galaxy S3, the new image will have full resolution, up to 8 megapixels. You won't lose any EXIF data either after you've edited your image. Now let's go back here and take another image. This one was taken with the Canon DSLR camera. And as you can see, this is a RAW file directly from the camera. In addition, this is a really high resolution image. I can also edit this one and shift the white balance for example. If I have the histogram enabled here on the left, I can see how my settings are affecting the histogram. So it's easy to see if I need more contrast or if my image is too dark and I can simply optimize my image to make it look better. Ok, and now let's use more saturation. No, this is a bit too much. Let's also adjust the clarity a little bit to make the edges clearer. Zoom in and let's say for testing purposes this should be ok. Just save the XMP file and let's go back again. Another interesting feature of Photomate is that you can say that it should always try to apply the X XMP settings you've just saved for your image. To do this, press Menu and go to the Preferences. Just scroll down here and say Displaying Options. Render XMP settings. When you activate, activate this option, the XMP settings are being rendered every time you view or open this image. And, as you can see now, the thumbnails have just been refreshed with the settings. This is my edited one, where all the settings have already been rendered. Here is the image which is still the original one. And after a few moments the image is being refreshed with all the settings I've saved before. If I open the image, Photomate will apply the settings again, just a bit later. If I zoom in here, the settings will be applied again.
If I switch to the right, Photomate will open the edited image. And as you can see, this image has still the full resolution with all EXIF information and so it doesn't need to be refreshed. And for the RAW file, Photomate will just render the settings I've chosen. So the image will get the new colors every time I zoom in or out. Another cool thing about this is, if I use the slideshow option for example, Photomate will also apply all these settings to your images. This is really helpful if you want to present your images to friends or clients, which is pretty great. So I hope you enjoy doing some editing with Photomate and have fun using this application.